coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. A lot of times you'll go on a trip and you'll, you'll hope to have an opportunity. I'm here to tell you, you're pretty much going to have more than one in one day. This week we are still down under. Yep, we're down in New down Zealand under. with Leithen Valley Trophy I better Hunt clarify. with Rachel yes, Nolly. Yes, yes, yes. Please do. Hunting stags, Hunt red stags, stags with roaring our red stags. Which you know, what? I mean, when you hear them roar, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it is. It's pretty cool. And Rachel, she knows exactly where we need to be oh. and what we need to do to get on these stags. You, it's your turn. It's my turn. Yep. It is your is, turn. Oh, that's right. You it shot is. yours I last shot week. I shot mine last week. Hello. Wow. Yes, it is your turn. So I just can't remember because mentally show. she's beat me down so bad. It's like Vicky and Ralph now. I mean, I just. I guess that's the way it should just be. Vicky and Ralph. So let's get going. But it is your turn to hunt this week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thanks for let's the honor going. and the privilege. You're welcome. Spanning over 100,000 square miles, the vast territory of New Zealand is largely mountainous, covered in scenic contours. Ralph and Vicki have journeyed to Leithen Valley, home of the red stag. Stags, or red deer, are the fourth largest deer species, closely resembling the American elk. Here's the deal. We're we're roughing it again. Yeah. Did you tell him about your nightmare you had last night? Listen, I had I had a tremendous nightmare. I woke up in a sweat, a cold sweat, and I, I mean I was shaking, and I had this. It was just an occurring one, where this giant stag comes walking up, and it's Vicky's turn to hunt. It was just such a nightmare. And then you woke up. I woke up and realized happened. it was a reality. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful place. Could you picture, could you even fathom open, waking up to this every day? Pretty cool. So I'm tagged out. I have an amazing, beautiful red stag here at Leithen Valley, and now it's Ralphie's turn. He's up to bat, his Hoyt is ready to go, and He's got five days to get a stag, which means that, okay, so I hunted a day, not quite, and now I'm gonna be camera girl, toting around the camera for the next five days. She's out of here. She's gotta help now. She's gonna have maybe pack in one of the cameras, help Kenneth out, and the reality of it is, is I'm up to bat, and you know what? I got a lot of time, so I am going to enjoy this. I am going to relish in this because it never happens to me. Hoyt in hand, Ralph and Vicki are led by Rachel through the scenic terrain in search of a red stag. Her sense of humor and whimsical personality make hunting all the more enjoyable for the crew. Go for a wee walk up here. I'm having a blast because normally when we go on hunts, normally it's Ralph and I, our camera guy, and our guide's a guy. And now I have Rachel, who's not a guy, and we are having a blast looking for red stag. We've had so much fun, and we've been laughing and laughing, and I'm sure at some point in time we'll find something to hunt, but we just keep laughing. She's a hoot. So we're just gonna get out of here, save this for later in the day if the wind comes down a bit. It feels like it's in our favour, but when you get in some spots, just start swirling around. So we're going to head out of here and go over to the next valley and we'll walk right there, Stag. We're walking down this lane and Rachel goes, don't move. And we're like, yeah, yeah. Sure enough, 
here is this monster stag. He's got drops, he's got everything. And he's in the bush and you know, I mean, lo and behold, he's about 35 yards out, no way for a shot. We, you know, we're like, what do we do? We can't move, he doesn't see us. So we figured maybe what we'll do is start back. Well, lo and behold, he comes busting out, looks at us, runs back down that lane. And, and I mean, oh it, it's what it is. Do you see the size of that thing? It's hunting. And that's why we love it so much. Look at him. Oh. 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 oh, that was awesome. So what's cool is Rachel meets with all the guys and they all go back and forth in the evenings and they discuss what's going on, where the movement is. And, and, and she knew that we had to get in this lane in this, I, I don't even know what you call it, man, but it's thicker than thick. It's, uh, it's, it's sort of like Vicky's hair probably, you know what I mean? But <laughs> so we get in and we're on this lane and the, the, what we found is a lot of these stags will walk up and down the lane and maybe they're scent checking for, for the hinds, whatever it may be. Well, we get all hunkered in, we're watching this thing, all of a sudden you see movement, boom, we got our binoculars up, we're checking, I'm ranging, I'm trying to make sure I know everything. And, and again, it's like that sixth sense. They're coming, coming, stop on a, I mean, just stop on a dime, look, and gone. We're still looking. <laughs> like everywhere we've ever traveled is you, you, you just never know what you're gonna deal with, weather-wise, I mean, conditions and the whole nine yards. We knew we were coming to New Zealand with Leithen Valley and we were jacked. We were pumped up. And I mean, to say that, like we, we had encounters every single day. But the reality of it is, is Rachel knew where we had to be, set us up. And I mean, we had, we had like the close encounter of the ninth kind. I don't know what happened that all of a sudden, and he turns and he goes away. in the roar with Leaf and 
we're gonna have a wee peek at the accommodations at Leaping Valley. Come on. Some of the team hunting with us this week. Let's take a wee look in Ralph and Vicky's room. Wonder what we'll find. Some of the accommodation at Leaping Valley. Nice king size beds. Ah. We have Wi Fi. Check my emails, my Facebook. What's going on? Leaping Valley, big stag down. Yes. Nice, spacious bathrooms. Let's take a peek. After a hard day's hunting. So you've got a lot of storage out here for your gear. And here we have a gun safe. Um, also put your bows. Now let's go upstairs and see the main lodge. So this is our main lodge. This is where my family lives all year round. My dog, Flame, she's in training. What's cooking? Good looking. Pumpkin soup. Yum. Can't wait to have some of that. Oh, some venison sandwiches as well for lunch. Mm -mm. Can you go and get everyone for lunch now, please? Get out of here. We got some stacks right down here. This place is crazy. I'm telling you right now, it's crazy. And the only reason I haven't shot anything yet is because Vicky set the bar so freaking high. There's times you want it so bad and you really want to make things happen. You've practiced, you've done everything you possibly could, you know, and, and everything is right. And we actually, we're looking down, the sun is coming up in back of us. We got the sun actually in our favor. We've got stags feeding and they're coming around these points. And all of a sudden, and I look down and the sun shadow, we could see movement. This movement are stags right above us. What are you gonna do? They were feeding, they were all feeding low. We figured we'd come to a pinch point, just like we would do with any other animal, and these suckers go above us. We had the wind in our favor, we had everything, and they come up. What, why would they do that? Because they're animals, <laughs> and we ain't. But I mean, they were like 10 yards, there was no, we, we turned on them, I could see them, but filming right into the sun, didn't have a real good ethical clean shot. We still got a few more hours left in the day and we ain't giving up. Fourth quarter, two minute warning. <laughs> we are up on a pretty steep ridge. Like, you know, if I went, if I slid, something was gonna break and it was probably gonna be part of me. You know what I mean? And these, these stags are slowly meandering and they're just coming through. Now remember that the rut's pretty much winding up. We're seeing these stags in a bunch, they're bunching up together, just like Rachel said. That she said, but once they go in that thick stuff, it's over for, I mean, just because they're tired, man, they've been rutting. So I look down, I range him, and here I've come to full draw, I anchored, and I knew my, I knew my entrance had to be here sort of high, and I probably misjudged him by a few yards because I hit him high. Oh no, no, no. My first reaction was, 
You dummy, man. You screwed this up. It's too, it's too high. But that beamant went all the way in, got the lung, and I mean, just, so, you know, the best thing to do is when in doubt, we just backed off. We ran, Rachel, we got up high, and we glassed. I mean, but then to, to see that guy laying, we did what we were supposed to do. Everything worked out. You know, I hit him high, but as you can tell, we definitely took out a lung, one lung, and it's, I got blood. The illusion, I, I didn't know how much went in, but. Right to there. So over two thirds of my arrow. Again, we're like we've, we've said in so many occasions, so many times, hunting the highest of high, the lowest of low. And boy, that's what I, I went through. What do you think? No, uh-uh, I got more mass. Oh, he's so different. He's got drops and everything on him. Hey, honey, congratulations. Good work. Good work. Thank you. Are you two kissing again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're a lovely couple. But they made me blush when they kept kissing when they shot something. Ooh. We worked hard for the stag there, honey. I can tell you this. You know, we've always said this is incredible, but this is incredible. I mean, to, to witness these animals in their natural habitat, thank God for everything and just say, you know what? We came to Lethan Valley. We rocked it, we love it, and we are coming back. And I mean, I'm gonna tell you, for many, we saw it on Facebook, we saw it on Instagram, Vicky's and all that, that this is a bucket list for so many. I'm here to tell you, do not pass up the opportunity. Get in there and turn around and get Lethan Valley out of the bucket and come hunting. Because once you experience this, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's probably gonna stay in the bucket for another time because you gotta come back, because we sure are. It's honestly been an absolute pleasure having Ralph and Vicky in camp. What a hoot. I have laughed a lot. Those two, you know, they're true hunters and just to see them really enjoy what they do, um, it's like a job, but they truly, truly love what they do. It was awesome having them here and just how many wow moments we had and how amazed they were with what Lethem Valley has to offer. It, that's something special to me. One thing here at Lethem Valley, and I'm so proud of it, we're family run and owned. So my mum and dad started it back in the 80s, so we've been going for about 30 years now, and I've been lucky enough to take it over with my husband. So it's a true, true family operation. We have young kids as well, and they're following in the footsteps, fingers crossed. So yeah, when you come to Lethem Valley, you're gonna meet the whole family. You're coming a long way to New Zealand, so you're going to come as clients, but you're going to go away as true friends. And we welcome you into our family, and you know, that's what a lot of our past clients say, that they just have just enjoyed their time thoroughly with us. Just being part of the family and just seeing New Zealand, the ins and outs that you wouldn't see just being a regular tourist. I don't care, thank you, you know what I mean? I, I just, again, it goes down to the last minute, the last day, you know what I mean? Last day, last minute, just crazy, how it always boils down it to me. It does always do that, doesn't and it? And I'm telling you what, you know, we've been blessed to travel all over the world. We really have. And you just, there, there are certain places you make connections with people, mm -hmm. huh? Right. And Rach and Ollie, we, it was, we had so much fun. We did. We can't wait to get back there, and I mean, the hunting is, out of this world. The hospitality, out of this world. Mm -hmm. the, just everything about it, huh? It was. Was, pr was pretty cool. It I just. Was. I mean, and I honestly, we can't wait to get back. And Rach, Ollie, thank you guys so much for having us down oh. there. And you know, again, at Lethan Valley Trophy Hunts, we hunted with George in Australia, which is yes. Rachel's brother, last year. And now this year we went down and we hunted in New Zealand with Rachel. And honestly, we can't wait to get back with her. Incredible people, incredible, incredible place, and just 
oh my gosh, the game. Yeah, we need to take RJ there too, I think. Yes, so then it could be like RJ, the Vicky, Vicky. RJ and Ralph. It's Vicky, RJ and Ralph. That's yeah. Vicky. RJ, Vicky. Yeah, okay. Hey, thanks for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time. Yep, same channel. Right here with Vicky and Ralph.